everyone, I'm Miss Eleanor from Kids Quest Children's Museum and today we're going to be building ramps and seeing what will roll and what won't. So to make our ramp at home we just need a piece of cardboard or any flat large material and we're going to be using Lego blocks to build our ramp but if you don't have Legos at home you could use a stack of books or anything to just prop one end of your ramp up so you'll have an angle and hopefully we can find some things that roll. So to build my ramp, I'm gonna connect my Legos. And I've got this one. How many blocks high? One, two, three blocks high. And I'm gonna use this as one leg for my ramp. And if I want this leg to be balanced and just as tall, how many Lego blocks do I need? I've got one, two, and three, just like the other side, so they'll be evenly tall and they can sit and be our ramp. So now I found some different toys from around the museum and I'm gonna figure out which ones will roll on our ramp. So let's start with this pine cone. Do we think this is gonna roll on the ramp? Let's see, I put it down. It didn't do anything. What if I turn it on its side? I rolled a little bit, not all the way down the ramp. Let's see, I have this piece of Play-Doh. It's flat right now, and I'm gonna put it on the ramp and see if it rolls. What do we think? Let's see. Oh, it just sat there. Is there anything we can do to the Play-Doh that might make it roll down the ramp? I'm gonna turn it into a different shape. I'm going to make it a ball Let's see what will happen. So now I have a round piece of Play-Doh and let's see what happens. Whoa, it rolled all the way down the ramp. So if we make our Play-Doh round, it will roll. So here we have something that will roll. What about this pom-pom ball? It's round. Do we think it'll roll? It rolled too. Did it roll the same speed as the Play-Doh? Let's do them together and see what happens. Whoa, the Play-Doh rolled a lot faster. This one didn't even roll this time. Let's see what else we have in here. We have a ball. Do we think this will roll? Let's find out. Whoa, that one rolled really well. What about our little zebra? Do we think he's gonna roll? Oh, he didn't roll, but he can walk down the ramp. Take his time. And then we have some cars with little wheels that move. Do we think this is gonna roll down the ramp? Let's see, we gotta get our zebra out of the way. We don't want an accident. That rolled down the ramp really well. We've got a different kind of car here, a Lego car. This has spinning wheels too. Do we think this is gonna roll? Let's find out. Whoa, that rolled really well too. And another car. Let's see. Wow. So these are the things that we have that roll. Do these things have anything in common? These two look pretty similar. They're both round shapes. And what about these cars? What's helping them roll? They all have wheels and wheels are round too so now that we figured out what rolls we can do some science with our ramp so i have this measuring tape here you at home can use a ruler or any kind of measuring tool that you have and i'm going to put it down in front of our ramp and now we can see how far our objects roll so we'll start with our car and we'll see how far it goes Whoa. So that went even further than our measuring tape. And our measuring tape goes all the way to 12 inches. So it went further than 12 inches. Let's see about this Play-Doh. Oh, it didn't go all the way straight on the ramp. Let's see if we can do it again. Whoa, these things are really good at rolling. How do we think we can slow them down a little so they don't go as far? Maybe if we take some 
blocks off of our limb. What if we make a really short limb? And we just have one block on each side. Let's see what this will do. Will our ball still roll? Yeah, really far. What about our cars? So our car only rolled to seven inches this time. So before it went all the way past 12. So did it go shorter distance this time or a longer distance? Is seven smaller or bigger than 12? Seven smaller. So when we made our ramp shorter, it made our objects roll less far. So let's see if we can make them roll even faster and further. We made our ramp shorter to make things go slower. How do we think we can make them go faster? Maybe if we make our ramp even taller. So we started with three tall. I'm gonna go all the way to six tall. Six. So how many do we need to put on the other side to make our ramp balanced? One, two, three, four, are those even? Not quite. We need one more block. We have six on each side. So now we have a very, very tall ramp. These aren't quite the same, but that's okay. Do we think this is going to go faster or slower now? Let's find out. So remember this car went to seven when there's only one block. Let's see how far it goes now. Wow, that went so far, it went all the way off my table. So we can see that as we build our ramp up, it makes our cars go faster and it makes them go further too. Will it be the same thing for our ball? Do we think this will go faster too? Let's find out. <gasps> that one rolled all the way off the table too. It's still rolling. Wow. What about something that didn't roll very well before? Our pine cone. Do we think this will roll better now that it's higher? Let's find out. Whoa, even our pine cone rolls all the way off the table now. So as we make things taller, it makes it easier for things to roll. What about one of our shapes that didn't roll before? Do we think our zebra will roll now that our ramp is taller? Let's find out. Our zebra still didn't roll. Why do we think the pine cone rolled and the zebra didn't? Does this look like a ball at all? It's a little bit the same shape as the ball, but the zebra, this isn't shaped like a ball at all. So he's gonna have a hard time rolling no matter how tall we make our ramp. So when you do this activity at home, Think about the different things in your house that might roll on the ramp and think about how tall you can make your ramp or even how short you can make your ramp. In this activity, you are helping your child develop their measuring and counting skills, which are both really important early math skills. So when you are measuring how far your object rolled, you are using a measuring instrument and you are also counting how far they went along. And you are also counting when you build your ramp to make sure that both sides of your ramp supports are even. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again soon.